Good evening. Every game, a big game for the Warrior football team, especially when you've got a national ranking, especially when your ultimate goal, an undefeated season. Last night's 52-37 win over Utah State, apparently not big enough to move the Warriors up in the polls. Hawaii stayed put in the latest AP Top 25 poll, 6-0 on the year, 16th in the country. The USC loss puts LSU the unanimous number one. Warriors also 16th in the coaches poll. That's down one spot from last week. Head coach June Jones says they made enough plays to win last night despite missing the trigger man in their potent offense. See him. Colt Brennan says the hits by two Aggie defenders re-aggravated his sprained right ankle. When the guy hit me high, the guy low held onto my legs, so as I turned, my ankles were both right there and the bad one just turned over. Brennan felt a sharp pain running down on his leg. He and wore a brace for the first drive in the third quarter, but it just made it worse. So trainers took it off and, and retaped the ankle. I thought he was just going to be out a couple plays, and then when Tyler, I threw, called two plays, and Tyler threw a strike, I said, okay, well, we'll just go that way. <laughs> what a catch! What a catch! You know, we, we executed pretty well. Could have been better, but you know, I feel pretty confident in my performance. Better? Rolling. Not There's much. Backup Tyler Gronke completed 9 of 11 passes, including his first 8, 246 yards, 3 touchdown passes, 1 touchdown run. Since everything was going how he wanted, and no one could be happier, even the guy he replaced. Oh yeah, he's always the first one there to congratulate me. And uh, he told me he was really down on himself, really bummed out that he had to go out the game, but when he saw me playing good, it was all better. You know, this is my adversity for the season, you know, battling a sprained ankle. We're 6-0 and right now. We're rolling, so, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. Brennan finished 19 of 25 with 219 yards passing and a touchdown. Jones says no quarterback controversy. Colt still the man. Brennan says his ankle will be ready for Friday. That's when the Warriors go to on the road at San Jose State. That game, 2:05 Hawaii time on ESPN. Despite winning and improving to a perfect 6-0 last night, Hawaii is down one spot in the coaches' poll and remain the same in the Associated Press. Warriors rank 16 in both polls. Top four look the same in both. LSU in the, is the unanimous number one in the AP. Ohio State getting a couple of first place votes from the coaches. Former number one who lost yesterday to Stanford, USC. They dropped to 10th in the AP and 7th in the coaches' poll. It's obvious the Warriors 52 to 37 win over Utah State wasn't impressive enough to make a jump in the polls, but it was a win. The Warriors are now 6 and 0, but it was a battle with the Aggies from the beginning. Warriors able to take the 7-3 lead off the one-yard plunge by Kealoha Pilares getting into the end zone, but on the ensuing kickoff, Aggies went wild. Kevin Robinson takes it at the goal line and he is gone. 100 yards through the Warrior coverage and once again the Aggies had the three-point lead. Now at the end of the first quarter the Aggies defense held Hawaii out of the zone but couldn't stop Dan Kelly from tying it back up with a 54-yard field goal, the fifth longest in school history. It was tied at 10 after one quarter of play. Aggies posted another field goal in the second quarter to regain the lead but on the ensuing kickoff payback is a business for Malcolm Lane, who finds the lane. His second return for a touchdown of the season. This one goes 87 hash marks, and the Warriors never looked back. Warrior defense held the Aggies to just three points in the second quarter, led by Solomon Elamemian, posting 20 tackles. Six of those were solo. Back to the offense, Colt Brennan, 19 of 25, 219 yards in this lone touchdown to Devon Bess. It's a 22-yard strike that put Hawaii up 24-13, but a scary moment Near the end of the half, Brennan goes down hard and takes a while to get back up, re-aggravating his injured right ankle. He would not return to close out the half. But first play for Tyler Grunke, and it is a beauty. 36-yard strike to Best going down at the one-yard line, and Grunke finishes it off with a one-yard run. Warriors led at the break. 31 to 13. Brennan played one unproductive series to start the third quarter, but Grunke was again called on to finish it off, hitting C.J. Hawthorne on the 36-yard touchdown pass, and then C.J. going airborne the catch. Hawaii pouring it on at that point. Grunke finished nine for 11 with 246 yards passing, three touchdowns, one interception. Also ran one in. Third quarter highlighted by this: Jason Rivers, 72-yard touchdown score. Warriors held scoreless in the fourth quarter, but already had enough for the win. 52. 37. Every time I get in there, I try not to make the same mistakes twice. Every mistake I make, I really take seriously. I'm really um, <clears throat> very critical of myself and my performance. Um, 
I just try to I just try not to miss anything, miss anything that the defense gives us. They give us a wide open guy, I want to throw to that guy and score a touchdown. Um, tonight I did a pretty good job of that and um, they were, you know, they were just doing some basic things out there, and we were executing, and, and my, the receivers played amazing. You know, they're on five. We're five and zero. Oh. You know, they had nothing to lose coming into this game, and you know, they was all, you know, they did a lot of trick stuff out there, and they just, you know, being being us would have made their season. But I think we underestimated how how much they want to, you know, you know, break our will and you know, take some away that we we all wanted this year. And I'm sure everybody feels the same way. We didn't play our, our, the best we could have. You know, we were kind of we kind of came out slow on offense, and um, you know, we, there's there's a lot of room for improvement. There's there's plenty of things we can do to get better. He did not step. But just before the Warriors' bye week, it's a short week now as the Warriors head out to San Jose State for a Friday night game, and the question will be: Will Colts' ankle be able to heal enough to play against the Spartans? It's been frustrating the last couple of weeks. It's frustrating to not kind of feel like you're normal or feel like you're kind of like, you know, the same. It always feels like you're kind of having to overcome things. But, um, you know, this is my adversity for the season, you know, battling a sprained ankle. We're 6-0 and right now. We're rolling. So, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. San Jose State, where former Rainbow coach Dick Tomey and his Spartans have won their last three straight games. They're 2-0 in the conference with a win most recently over Idaho and Utah State. Game will be aired live on ESPN on Friday the 12th. Kickoff at 2.05 Hawaii time.